Good morning, and thank you for coming to our Holy Week service on this Tuesday morning of Holy Week. Um, I had a hard time getting this lesson together this time, but then I always went to my default, which is growing things and seeds and the hope that we get in the spring. I, maybe it has something to do with my farmer's daughter thing. But I went back and I was going through some things that I've done because I have programs from way back in the in the early 80s, maybe late 70s, what I did with the kids. And one of the first programs we did with the kids was called A Blessing for Growing Things. So it's always there. And then I thought, I, I, I knew I'd written this poem years ago, and I've used it several times over the years. But I didn't realize I'd written it in 2003. And I'm not going to read it today, but you can read it because I, it kind of is my perspective of, of a seed and how it has to do with the resurrection. So. I'm going to let you read that on your own and um, do with it what you will. The, the kids have practiced hard learning to speak loudly and clearly, so I hope you can all hear them. Um, they, um, they had fun reading the Easter story and, and talking about different things. One of the questions they had initially was, why were there three crosses instead of just one? So we had to talk about what the other two crosses were. Um, so, anyway, um, I, I hope that you um, get something out of their thing, and I want to thank Margaret for um, helping with the music, and Miss Roby, you got to come closer so you can hear. That's part of the deal. We, we don't have huge people, so we need to come closer. So. Anyway, um, let me see what else was I going to say. Um, and afterwards, when we go to leave, the kids put together these nice little things for you to remember the service today. So will you come in and each of you, each family take one, or each person probably can even take one. Um, and um, yeah, so with that, um, we will begin. Um, and I will start with our scripture for the day. From the first one is from Psalms 126, 5 and 6. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. And the second one is from Psalm 35. Weeping may last for the night, but joy returns in the morning. Our memory verse for today is John 3.16. What is the memory verse? John 3.16. Okay. For God so loved the world, louder girls. That he gave his only son. That he gave his only son. That whoever believes in him. That whoever believes in him. Should not perish. Not perish, but have eternal life. But have eternal life. Listen to my Easter song. Listen to my Easter song. God is love. God is love. Listen to my Easter song. Listen to my Easter song. God is love. God is I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to say, I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Love of Jesus, love of Jesus, down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to say, I have the peace. 
So this morning, we're going to end with this thought that the story of Jesus' death and resurrection reveals to us a God who is waiting. The secret of waiting is the faith that the seed has been planted, that something has begun. Plant some seeds today. You never know the joy they might produce. And I have four little flowers here that are growing very tall because of this dark tree. And now join me as we sing two times through on um, Step Into the Sunshine and Margaret will give us a little introduction. Thank you. 
and um, we'll just downstairs for breakfast.